Okay, what do you, um, you know, you obviously liked Chris last year. Mm -hmm. um, what are you finding out with the snaps he's getting in the games? A lot of the other starters aren't playing, but, mm -hmm. you know, from a, from a communication standpoint with the green dot and just playing by speed and everything else. Well, you know, a lot of the reps are to have him feel comfortable, you know, and, and he want, he wanted that kind of thing. And I, yeah, he just is a guy that uh, likes football, so he wanted to go out there. And, you know, the practice reps are, are really, really, really good for us. And uh, we get to do it versus our offense all the time. So that was good. And then last week was really a good week with, you know, working against – even though a very similar offense, everybody has a different flavor to it just because of the personnel that they have. And, uh, and you know, I think last week really, really helped everyone involved. Kirk, what do you think of just how Oren started? I know he didn't play as much last night, but, mm -hmm. you know, to get off, I think he had the six tackles, two for a loss. Just you mentioned wanting to play a little bit more, you know, faster this year. Mm -hmm. What do you think of how he was able to? So he's he's put together some some good you know a good couple weeks and and you know the biggest thing is trusting his technique when he does the techniques right you know you see that uh, that he's he's being real productive he's trust he when he trusts his eyes and and goes then then it's the player that that you guys have been looking at uh, these last you know the what last two games or if you're at practice you see you see him flying around and. You know, effort and and those kinds of things, they're, they're always there with OB. And you just got to love the way that he runs nonstop. And it seems like he can go all day as far as that stuff goes. So, you know, that part is something he sets the pace as far as, you know, running the ball and doing those kinds of things. He's really good with that. Kurt Warren and, and Ty have both been here for multiple years. Mm -hmm. They've played some on defense, but not a ton. And have you in your career, whether it's, you know, Whatever place you've been, had a guy who you know maybe didn't play a lot his first two or three years, and then all of a sudden became an impact player for you at linebacker. Have you had any of those over the years? Sure. The, you know that sometimes it, it takes takes longer than others. You know, you look at guys, even the you know, college players. Sometimes you know they're freshman, sophomore year, they're not much. And then all of a sudden, oh my goodness, they have this great junior year and in the NFL it's the same and there there's lots of circumstances and reasons why you know you might have a pandemic <laughs> you might uh, you know you might have had injuries in in training camps or you know at, at bad times and and uh, or you know transitions or had different things come up so yeah there, there's a lot of different reasons but yeah guys develop and, and get it at different times in their career for different reasons. The, you know, the common thread between the guys we have in our room right now is that they are all our workers. So there was never, there's never been a time that we had to teach these guys how to work, which is an advantage, you know, because they all know how to work and they have a system of studying and, and learning. So that's, that's been an advantage for all those guys. For, for a guy who got here as late in the spring as he did, um, I, I take it Campbell's been able to pick up the system and everything pretty well because you guys aren't even playing him in the preseason games. Either. Yeah, he's he's a real pro and like kind of along those lines, the system of learning. He has his system of, of learning, and you know, as a coach, you try to figure out what that is so that you can you can help him do it. Obviously, and and uh, the the guys that have a system in place already are are pretty easy to uh, feed them information and, and he's a, he is a real pro I mean he studies it he's not afraid to m make a mistake he's also not afraid to ask a question so you know that part and it's good for the entire room uh, having somebody that maybe didn't have the foundation and it, it has been playing catch up so it's a gr it, especially early on we're kind of past that point now but early on it was really nice because we did we had to go back and go through some of the foundational stuff in the defense just to make sure we were all on the same page so it was a good review for the guys that were already there. Kirk, is the uh, pass coverage for your inside linebackers any more complicated than what you guys were doing previously? And is any of that in relation to maybe where uh, Kamal Martin's struggles have been? Is, is the coverage different than what he's done in the past? Um, no, our coverage concept, the underneath coverage is the underneath coverage. There's only so many ways to, you know, I don't know, I don't know whatever metaphor you want to put there, but yeah, the underneath coverage is, is the underneath coverage, and and uh, you know that that part of it hasn't really changed very much. So, it's 
about and Kamal in general. You know, he played last week and that was his first game, and he'll probably tell you it looked like his first game in there. But uh, it was good to have him back, good to have him back in practice. Um, you know, he's always going to be flying around and, and doing those kinds of things. And, you know, we're, it, it'll, it'll, be, uh, it'll be a growing process uh, uh, like everything else. But, you know, that, uh, that part of it, the coverage stuff is, easy, is the same as it has been. I won't say easy. I'll say the same as it has been.